On Friday, Wang Yi met with the envoy of the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas at the Great Hall of People. Wang reiterated China's position on the peace process has always been consistent. China supports the establishment of an independent state of Palestine, enjoying full sovereignty on the basis of the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. The Palestinian envoys insisted that a resolution must be sought through political dialogue. We appreciate China's support to us at the United Nations, especially at the Security Council on the 18th and the General Assembly on Thursday. Foreign Minister Wang Yi has also met with Palestinian and Israeli attendees to the symposium, which was held on Thursday and Friday in Beijing. China is hoping the symposium to be a platform for communication for peace advocates in the demonstration of the hope for peace. The symposium included eight delegates from both Palestine and Israel and seven from China, including its special envoy on the Middle East issue, Mr. Gong Xiaosheng. The delegates from Palestine and Israel agreed that the two leaders should pledge to work towards a two-state solution and avoid taking any unilateral action which comprises its chances. Both sides also agreed that positive contributions needed to be made in this regard, including halting the construction of new Jewish settlements, maintaining Jerusalem's current status, taking security measures to protect Palestinian-Israeli relations, and looking at ways to jointly resolve the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. They also said the people on both sides can demonstrate how they can be peaceful partners, with the international community also supporting the cause using political and economic channels. They said that China could also play a more active role and create favorable conditions in the peace process. The symposium was held in a very tense, critical and sensitive background. Although it's a civil meeting, it sends a voice to the world that the majority of Palestinian and Israeli people support the peace process and the two-state solution. The meeting was held in a very positive atmosphere. China has vowed to continue its efforts to promote peace in the Middle East region. Wu Guoxiu, CGTN, Beijing.